Welcome to Training Industry Quarterly Electronic Magazine, Summer 2012 Edition podcast of the article, Organizational Burnout, How Trainers Can Help Relieve the CEO's Uphill Battle, by Dr. Srini Pillay. The average CEO in the U.S. stays in his or her position for six years, and this time in office is shrinking. Despite being talented, bright, motivated, and strategic, many CEOs are unable to sustain their positions as the demands of growing a company outstrips the capacities of the companies into which they are hired. Although boards often find CEOs incapable in these positions, it is often not the CEO's strategy that is not working, but the people executing that strategy who are unable to. One of the frequently overlooked reasons for suboptimal execution of the strategy is employee burnout. To help CEOs execute on their strategies, trainers can work with them right from the start to reduce employee burnout. In this article, we explore how to build a training system for burnout within your organization so that both you and your CEO are aligned in the company mission. Helping CEOs understand the connection between their strategies and inefficient execution by a burned-out workforce is the first step. What is burnout? Burnout is a result of a mismatch between workplace demands and personal capacity to respond to those demands. It is not a matter of personal weakness, but more akin to improper strength training or poor climatic conditions that compromise performance. It is characterized by three key factors. Exhaustion, employees are not at their optimal drive level, even if they are just fine. Cynicism, employees have given up on being champions of any kind. And lack of efficacy, employees have no intrinsic motivation because they feel ineffective even if they appear to be defensive. These symptoms may not be obvious at first. Most experts agree that burnout occurs as a progression, at first almost invisible with mild sleep disturbances or the need to fake smiles more often than you're comfortable with, and then moving to frequent anger and depression with growing cynicism until you are completely fatigued and exhausted and unable to even get out of bed. Three different burnout subtypes have been identified. The frenetic type describes involved and ambitious employees who sacrifice their health and personal lives for their jobs. The under-challenged type describes indifferent and bored employees who fail to find personal development in their jobs. And the worn-out type describes neglectful subjects who feel they have little control over results and whose efforts go unacknowledged. When burnout occurs, it significantly diminishes organization-based self-esteem. Causes of Burnout There are six major causes of burnout that are the targets for intervention for trainers. Work overload, lack of control, insufficient reward, unfairness, breakdown of community, and value conflict. Regardless of what the specific factors within any organization are, burnout can always be linked to at least one of these factors. Burnout Blindness it is not uncommon for the CEO or an entire culture to ignore burnout, especially in the early stages, as we have just come to assume that success requires this level of discomfort. Burnout management is not akin to creating a workplace utopia, but it is the implicit assumption that often prompts organizations to ignore burnout management in the first place. Simple practical strategies can make a huge difference. Since burnout occurs in stages, it is infinitely better to prevent progression rather than treat the symptom after it occurs. In order to do this, companies would be at an advantage if they had a system in place that detects the burnout level and then matches this to an intervention that enhances resilience or changes the training program or work environment to match the CEO's vision. The sooner trainers can make the CEO aware of this, the better. How Brain Science Can Highlight the Complexities Underlying Burnout Below are three examples of how brain science helps us understand why the causes of burnout are often so challenging and or how we can manage burnout more effectively. Work Overload Studies show that people who have a high degree of organizational commitment are more protected from workplace stress than those who do not have this commitment. CEOs can therefore optimize commitment variables and brain science can help inform this. Brain science teaches us that we can increase commitment by activating the left frontal cortex of the brain. 
there are many ways to do this. For example, frequent reminders to help remind frontline employees of job priorities activate this brain region and will help further to increase these commitments. Job control. When workers feel as though they have too little job control, this can make them resistant. We know from brain science that after a person makes a choice, the brain's reward center activates whether this decision is correct or not, and people have an enhanced commitment to a choice after they have made it. For any CEO, then, having the skill to allow employees to make their own choices will enhance the employee's commitment to these choices and give them a greater sense of control. Reward Although leaders often strive to inspire motivation while providing external rewards, these assumptions do not always work out. Recent studies show us that certain people are more responsive to extrinsic rewards, for example, bonuses, while others are more responsive to intrinsic rewards, feeling pride for a job well done. Furthermore, the brain can behave in the opposite way if the wrong reward type is chosen. Assessing this orientation prior to instituting a reward framework within an organization can be helpful. Conclusion Burnout is highly prevalent within organizations and no specific vertical is immune from this. Just because work overload is a reality does not mean that people cannot be protected from it or made to be more resilient to it in the face of the increasing demands of the workplace. A CEO's job in the workplace may be significantly easier if he or she asks internal or external coaches and trainers to design a program to alleviate burnout right from the start. Simply having a perfunctory wellness center is often not enough. Targeting the specific cause of burnout and maximizing strengths would be critical to developing the best team possible and making the path to success a smooth ride powered by the motivation and inner capabilities of the employees themselves. Dr. Srini Pillay is a specialist in the brain science of business and the CEO of Neuro Business Group. Takeaways when a CEO is unable to execute on a strategy in a capable organization, consider employee burnout and approach the CEO to get the necessary support to implement a comprehensive burnout management program. Burnout signifies that the process and procedures of an organization need to be matched to individual capability, not that employees are weak. For burnout management, prevention is better than a cure. Thus, having a system in place to prevent and actively manage burnout is far wiser than managing burnout when it is too far gone. Trainers should start with a baseline burnout assessment and track this over time. Following a determination of burnout level and stage, it is important to target interventions to the most likely cause. All causes fall within six categories. Work overload, lack of control, insufficient reward, unfairness, breakdown of community, and value conflict. Burnout interventions target each cause. Sophisticated interventions will consider both the conscious and unconscious factors related to each cause in order to address these causes. Brain-based interventions help to define targets for intervention. For example, work overload may be related to an overloaded short-term memory. Hence, reminders may be helpful. When your organization is prone to burnout blindness, emphasize that with any group process, burnout would be the default. Therefore, active management is more helpful than ignoring the situation and rehiring people. The more you can track burnout variables, the more you are able to put your organization in a place for early detection. Sidebar Case Example Challenge Company X is a Fortune 1000 company that manufactures machines. Due to a recent drop in sales, the company has had to move to a lean method of operations. For frontline workers, this means more work for the same or less pay and dealing with changes in procedures. The recently hired CEO has been trying to increase productivity so that pending projects can be brought to completion and sold. But frontline workers are disgruntled, and managers are also getting burned out trying to retain employees who are leaving in droves. You are hired to coach and train employees. What will your approach be? Considerations For this company, you would have to consider a program in which all levels of employees are aligned with regard to the change program prescribed by the CEO. But this change program would be useless if you were asking employees who are already burned out 
to execute on this. Recommended plan of action. Determine measurable outcomes that company X would like and always consider how burnout may play a role. Using the framework in the takeaways sidebar, design a program that targets desired change, at least some of which is measurable. The primary outcome would be enhanced resilience to burnout as well as agility, which would include resistance to burnout as well as flexibility in the face of change. Example. One useful primary goal would be to embed a coaching culture within the organization so that managers could lead their teams more effectively. Four targets could be determined. Change management, team alignment, burnout management, and enhancing agility. Prior to determining the workshops that may be necessary over the next six to nine months, also determine which groups you would work with and what you would track using the framework in the right column. Ensure that you track both score and progression and that you consider unconscious variables, especially when there is no major change, despite an intervention. You've been listening to Organizational Burnout, How Trainers Can Help Relieve the CEO's Uphill Battle by Dr. Srini Pillay. For more podcasts and articles like this, visit www.trainingindustry.com. Thanks for listening. I'm Roel Gorman.